Good day, friends, and thank you for joining me for a brief moment on this Christmas week. What a week. There's just always something in the air, as one of our old hymns puts it. There's something in the air, and many of us hear a song uh, appropriately. Thank you uh, for your prayers for your church and for God's people during this time, as well as for all our neighbors. What a privilege it is to worship the Lord at Christmas time. I would remind you, of course, we have service of worship. I'm standing in the downtown sanctuary on Christmas Eve. That is Friday night at 5 p.m. And about seven miles from here at East Campus at 6 p.m. Hope you will join us for one of those, uh, one of those services of worship. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness did not and does not overcome it. It is amazing when we behold this miracle of God become flesh. And every day, if we are attuned to it, every day as we have eyes open to life in this world and the Spirit of God speaking anew to our hearts and minds, we enter into more and more the amazing mystery of what it means that God is with us, came and visited us in the flesh, and now is present with us, present and active in ways that we, that we see and that we're invited to live into and out of. Amazed at this gift, will you pray with me at this Christmas time? Lord Jesus, in your nativity among us, you came to show us the fullness of God's glory. Into our drab darkness, light has dawned. Into our unfulfilled lives, joy has come. Into our silence, a word has been spoken. And that word is joy, that word is love. We praise you for making your home among mortals like us. In Jesus' name, amen. A quick reminder, too, that the Sunday after Christmas, that is the next day after Christmas Day, which is Sunday, we have services of worship. Uh, we have 9 o'clock at East Campus and 11 o'clock here at downtown. Hope you will be able to join us for one of those as well. In the meantime, the Lord bless you and keep you this Christmas week, and we'll see you next time.